Hey guys, I am back again for another unboxing. This one's pretty special, and no, it is not called the Nintendo GameCube. Don't mind that name. I don't know what that is, but as far as I'm concerned, I know what's inside this box, and y'all should know what's inside this box due to the thumbnail and title. So, right off the bat, I wanted to go ahead and get all this black wrapping off the darn package because, again, the uh, black wrapper actually has uh, my address on the darn thing. So, right off the bat, I had to already just unbox this or unwrap this whole thing before I actually do the unboxing part. So, um, let me just hurry up and get this right out the bat. Go ahead and get all that off. Get all that black wrap out slowly and carefully. There we go. Alrighty. Now one more thing to do is to cut off the tape. And then we can see what's inside. Come on, there we go. There we go. A lot of bubble wrap and wrapping in there. Go ahead and bring this all down so we can actually get a good look inside. So let's get this out of the way. And there's a ton of bubble wrap inside. And it's all in one place. And here it is. The All-Terrain Dino Trapper. Complete with sounds, a stun gun that also is a breakaway door, a big quick trap net light up machine gun and Billy Brennan I got this loose and used from eBay around like $36 which is kind of fair once you think about the value of these old toys from 20 years ago the condition is nice all around and since it is used there are some minor issues like peeling stickers some of them are still stuck in place though the battery compartment hatch was missing a screw so I ended up using a blue twist tie to keep it in place and I put three new AA batteries just for this review. The detailing of this vehicle to me is really awesome for a vehicle that has no plot relevance to the film. <laughs> the silver painted metal scratches, the dirt and grime detail, and the inclusion of the JP3 mark are epic touches in my opinion. Even the stickers have some pretty cool details in them as well. Especially the one with the infrared tyrannosaurus and the tracker. I know this might be off topic, but it might be in the same dang vein, but as much as I like the toy commercials, I kind of wish there was another tie-in, like an animated set of shorts on the adventures of the characters in Isla Sorna, considering that the toy line does have a gimmicky feel of characters trying to capture or tame dinosaurs. I mean, that would have probably been fun to see. The Billy Brennan figure that it comes with is pretty cool, and once again being the Billy fan I am, I love it. In my eyes, his head sculpt is much better than the original Billy figure, and since his hair is a lot more sleek, and he also has a really cool expression on his face, unlike the other one, which is kind of bland, but not really that bad. The outfit he actually sports is a pretty freaking cool outfit in my opinion. I mean, it's very 2000s, and it does have a very sporty Dino Tracker kind of vibe to him. I previously had this figure, and even used it in my Hybrid Adventure series, but of course, it wasn't in the best condition, so I fixed that up. Well, before I started making those videos, and I gave that old one to my little brother. Now the gimmicks, because it ain't a Jurassic Park toy without them. Pushing the left button at the back of this compartment of the vehicle will activate the quick trap net feature and slams onto a dyno, making an electrocution sound effect. The right button is a release panel for the breakaway door on the right. It doesn't come off all the way, but you can work it better when you actually have a Tyrannosaurus Rex to chew it off for you. The breakaway door also has a giant launcher to it that also has a wire attached to it so you wouldn't miss the launcher piece. So you can stun dinosaurs with that. And the last one to go over is the machine gun, which is probably a stun gun as well. Pushing the red button on the translucent gun will light up red. And it also makes some laser sound effects as well. Holding onto the button will loop constantly. So yeah, that's basically it. That's today's look at the Jurassic Park 3 All Train Dino Trapper. I am super glad that I got this for the price I paid for it because sometimes it costs a lot more than I bought it for. 
The vehicle can still be found in any way, complete or not, but regardless, I recommend this if you haven't even got one yet. It's also really good to have a vehicle for this toy line since I've mostly collected the dinos and human characters. Most of them are repaints, but that doesn't really matter. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be seeing you guys later, and happy 20th anniversary to Jurassic Park 3.